Welcome to my channel Online Technical Mentor. In this video I will show you the evolution of computer and the generation of computer. I am not going into the deep details of the history of computer. I will show you some of the calculating devices that were used previously. The first modern computer was created in 1930s and was called Z1 which was followed by large machinery that took up the entire rooms. In the 60s, the computer evolved from professional use to personal use. So just go through the video. I think you will enjoy it. History of Computer and Generation of Computer Abacus This is a traditional counting frame that's used as a calculating tool for arithmetic processes. Abacus was invented by the ancient Chinese about 5000 years ago in between 2700 to 3000 BC. It is mainly used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Napier's Bones, 1617 AD A Scottish mathematician named John Napier discovered logarithms and invented a simple calculator to multiply any two number. The simple calculator is known as Napier bones or Napier rods because it can be constructed from bone, paper, etc. A set of bones consisted of nine rods, one for each digit, one through nine, and a constant rod for the digit zero. Slide rule, 1620 AD. It was invented by William Ottred. A slide rule is embodied by the two sets of scale that are joined together with marginal space between them. Slide rule is used primarily for multiplication and division and also for functions such as exponents, roots, logarithms and trigonometry but typically not for addition or subtraction. Pascaline, 1642 AD First developed by Blaise Pascal it consists of gears and levers. This is a predecessor to today's electronic calculator. Stepped Reconer, 1671 AD. The stepped Reconer was a digital mechanical calculator invented by German mathematician Gottfried William Leibniz. Can perform square root apart from addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Difference Engine, 1822 AD. It was built by Charles Babbage, a British mathematician and engineer. Babbage is called the father of today's computer. A difference engine is an automatic mechanical calculator designed to tabulate polynomial functions. Holiday's Tabulator, 1890 AD. The tabulating machine was an electromechanical machine designed to assist in summarizing information stored on punched cards. Invented by Herman Holiday. It was designed by using punched cards. The picture is shown at the right hand side. Generations of Computer. Generation in computer terminology is a change in technology a computer is was being used. Initially, the generation term was used to distinguish between varying hardware technologies. Nowadays, generation includes both hardware and software, which together make up an entire computer system. There are five types of generation. Let's begin with the first generation, 1946 to 1959. In this generation, the computer uses vacuum tube technology, could calculate data in millisecond. Unreliable. Supported machine languages only, that is 0 and 1. Very costly. Generated a lot of heat. Slow input and output devices. Huge size, nearly equal to the size of uh, two or three rooms. Need of AC. 
non portable consumed a lot of electricity magnetic drums were used for memory some computers of first generation first one is eniac electronic numerical integrator and calculator as you are viewing on the right hand side that people are moving around and controlling the computer The second one is EDVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. It is also a very big computer. UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. It also requires more than one person to control this computer. The second one is second generation of computer, 1959 to 1965. In this generation, the vacuum tube was replaced by transistor. Used first of peripherals like tape drives, magnetic disk, etc. Reliable as compared to first generation of computer. Smaller in size as compared to first generation of computer. Generated less heat as compared to first generation. Consumed less electricity as compared to first generation of computer. Could calculate data in microsecond. Still very costly. Supported machine language as well as assembly level languages. IBM 7094 series, IBM 1400 series and CDC 164 etc. Some example of second generation of computer. Third generation, 1965 to 1971. In this generation, integrated circuit was first introduced. In short, it is called IC. Could calculate data in nanoseconds. Used mouse and keyboard for input. Smaller in size as compared to first and second generation. More reliable. Used less energy. Could be used for high level language like Fortran, Cobol, Pascal, Basic, Algol, etc. Good storage. Air condition was still required. IBM 370, IBM System 360, Honeywell 6000 series are some example of third generation. Fourth generation. 1971 to 1980. In this generation, a very large scale integrated circuit was used. Started with the invention of microprocessor which contains thousands of ICs incorporated in a single chip. Use of keyboard, mouse and other input devices. Use of monitor, printer, plotter etc. for output devices. Faster processing power with less power consumption. No AC required. Concept of internet was introduced. Apple Macintosh and IBM PC are some example of fourth generation. Fifth generation, 1980 till date, ultra large scale integration technology was first introduced. In this technology, millions of transistors are incorporated into a single chip. Development of true artificial intelligence, advancement in parallel processing, more user friendly interfaces with multimedia features. High level languages like C and C, Java.net, etc. are used in this generation. Desktop, laptop, notebook, ultrabook, Chromebook are some computer of this generation. Subscribe to my channel Online Technical Mentor and press the bell icon for latest update. Thank you.